guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn a shop bought Swiss roll, because I cheat, I couldn't be bothered baking one, into a caterpillar. It's not calling the caterpillar this one. This one's Candice, the caterpillar. So this is take two. This is the second one I filmed. The first one, in case you're wondering where it is, where you haven't seen it, I forgot to press record. So I'm going to use a silicone mat mold. This one's called the Diamond Bouche mold. It actually comes with like a diamondy kind of pattern or triangles, kind of geometric, and also like a flat, flat one as well. So you can have it smooth or patterned. And I think you just place it in here. Obviously, I didn't read the instructions. But what I want to do is create like a splattered effect with cocoa butter. So I'm going to melt some cocoa butter and I'm going to put in some powdered food colour. And I mix them together and I'm going to just kind of splatter it in. Now, I don't know if you guys saw me making chocolate bars that I have that kind of match this. I think I put that video just onto Facebook rather than onto YouTube. Um, if you guys want to see it on the YouTube channel, just let me know though, and I'll try and get the video of them onto here as well for you. I used a mix of different colours, so I used the pink and then I kind of used some turquoise colours and what I'll do is I'll link below the video everything that I did use. Some colours were kind of more opaque, some more transparent than others. This one was a mix of the peacock blue and the ocean blue to make this one, just in case you wondered. I did flick it on absolutely everything around my workspace, so you can see I've got some grease with paper down as well to try and prevent me doing that, but still got it everywhere. So for this one, I used the milk chocolate. I used the Calibone milk chocolate. I did have to temper it something I'm not very good at, but I tried my best. I just tempered it in the microwave. So what I did was I melted it, but not till it had fully melted. And then I stirred it until um, all the little callots kind of melted. I did end up actually putting in a few more callots as well and just tried to melt them just so that it brings the temperature of the chocolate down a little bit. I need to work out more on um, tempering it. Like I say, I don't do it often. <laughs> Not very good with chocolate, but I had a go. It turned out okay. So I'm putting it into the mold and then I'm kind of just twisting the mold till it goes all the way around the edges. Now I'm gonna just use a ready-made ganache. We're just cheating all the time in this video. I'm using pretty much everything ready-made and also like a hazelnut spread together because it just made a really nice flavor filling did this. You know, if you don't like the hazelnuts, you don't have to put the hazelnut flavoring in there at all but I really like it also got some of these little kind of crisp pearls so they're almost like biscuits or I don't even know if it's rice krispies covered in chocolate or maybe it's tiny biscuits but they had a really nice crunch to it so I'm mixing them in there as well once the chocolate has set in my mold I'm going to use my shop bought Swiss mold rolls and I'm going to measure them now it did do this and forgot to press film and I had one large Swiss roll that fit in just nicely on this one <laughs> I couldn't find another Swiss roll long enough, so I just had to buy two smaller ones. So my ganache filling, I'm putting in a piping bag, and then I'm just going to kind of pipe it all inside my mold. I did do this quite messy, guys. <laughs> but don't fill the whole mold. You just kind of put in a little bit up the sides and edges because you need to get this Swiss roll in there. This Swiss roll, I think, was slightly bigger than the last one, so it took a bit of squeezing into the cake itself, or into the mold itself even. And of course, you can make your own Swiss roll, guys. Once that's in, I'm going to melt some more milk chocolate. In fact, the first one I did was actually with a ruby chocolate, which tasted really nice. But I wanted to have a go with milk chocolate for this one. So just on the back, just spreading it thin, just so it sets on the bottom. And for the face, while that's setting, I'm going to use a modeling paste. So it is an edible modeling paste. If you prefer, you can use modeling chocolate, which actually tastes really nice for this. Or you can use fondant. So rolling out kind of a circle. You can go for whatever color caterpillar face you want. Squashing it down a little bit, and then I'm putting in some eye sockets They're going quite oval in the shape with a big ball in tool and then let's pop in a little space for the knife for the for the knife for the mouth <laughs> pulling it down just a little bit so we get more of an open mouth just there we're gonna dint into the edges or indent dint i know i say dint and somebody told me that it's a yorkshire thing and not anyone else says it so sorry guys <laughs> if i say words that you don't know what they mean i'm just gonna put two holes in the top of its head and these are what it's little antennas I'm not sure they're called antennas, uh, go into later as well. Put a little bit of black inside the mouth. And then I'm gonna use a brighter pink for the tongue. Just a little oval of that, just in near that bottom bit there. Give it some pink cheeks. So just the edible pink dust. Not too much on there. A little bit on the forehead as well. I think the original one I did, I actually did like a kind of turquoise or Tiffany blue color face for. Let's give this one freckles. I'm using an edible pen 
Please don't use a normal pen, guys. Edible. It's always best if you're going to be eating it. And I'm going to fill the eyes with white. So I don't know if you guys can see in the corner. The original one I did was that Tiffany blue. And I want some black ovals for the eyes. So roll the black really nice and thin. You can use fondant or modeling chocolate or modeling paste. So I cut a circle for the black and then I kind of cut a little bit off each circle so that it made an oval. So these little off cuts can go around the outer edge of the eye for like the eyelashes. If you want to add like an iris, you can do it. I'm coloring these in with pen. I actually think I preferred it without. What do you guys think? Did it look nicer before I put the iris on? Let me know in the comments below. Go a bit rainbow colored with these, or maybe not rainbow, but we've got some purple, some sky blue, and then some royal blue on there. And I'm just trying to blend them all together with a slightly damp brush. And then let's add a little highlight of white. So I've just got some white modeling paste. I'm just gonna squeeze it into each eye and then an even smaller piece further up each eye. Now for its little antennas. Did we decide they were called antennas? Or feelers? I'm, I'm not sure what they're called. <laughs> the bits that stick out of its head. You guys can let me know in the comments below what they're properly called. So this one's the Tiffany color. So it's pre-colored paste that I've been been using for this one and let's do it some little feet so just some balls that we're cutting in half I'm gonna put a little indentation into each one that the leg can slot into so the feet are super simple and then let's see if our chocolate roll has kind of set so carefully peeling off the wrapper not wrapper the gold bit texture mat I'm not sure what you call it yeah that turned out okay there so I'm gonna use one of the cake drums that's kind of already pre-colored so I'm using everything pre-colored, everything we've done today. It's like a masonette cake board. I think this one's called the Celestial Pattern or something like that. I'll, I'll put the link below. And I'm going to roll some little pink wigs anyway. So we've put those little feet next to our Swiss roll all the way along. And then we're just adding little legs into them and pushing them against our chocolate log. So you can just see the one I made earlier in the corner of the screen. It was pink and I kind of gave it turquoisey flex on it. And then you're gonna add some melted chocolate to the end and you're gonna pick up the face and you can push the face on. Just hold the face there until the chocolate has had time to set so that you know it's gonna stay on in place. So there we go. You can do all sorts with the mold, guys. This one actually turned out better than the second one, so I'm a little bit cross with myself that I didn't hit the record button for the first one. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more of my tutorials. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.